They love you. We love you. Thank you for being here. Uh, I appreciate it, buddy. You look great. Uh, you know, uh, you were very, very nice enough. You were my first guest ever on when I started Late Night. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, <laughs> what we found is that, you know, when we had, when we had Late Night, we have them for tonight's show, too. But before every show, we have guests sign a guest book. This is real. And, uh, and just say whatever you want to say. Just sign something to me. And so you were the first person to sign this book. And uh, I was just wondering if you could maybe read what you wrote, because this is... <laughs> Can you see it there? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I said, Jimmy, I think you really <laughs> up. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> and, you know, I gave... I don't know how many years ago was that. That's 13 years ago. Wow. I, because I gave you a dollar, didn't I? Yes, that was Tonight Show. Yeah, that was yeah. Tonight Show. Yeah. So, where's where's the interest? On it? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, they don't get any money back on that. Uh, a big honor this uh, over the weekend. Uh, the Harry Ransom Center at the University of Texas opened the De Niro Curator of Film Endowment. Now, this is a museum <laughs> that 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 is everything that you've saved throughout your career, uh, right? Well, not everything. A lot uh, from. Because I'd see that stuff would disappear or I'd be trying on something in a, in a costume place in L.A. and it'd be, there'd, it'd be something from another production that you'd say, geez, you'd think they'd keep that or something. It's kind of a... It was a special movie or this or that. So I, I, and in my own experience, things would just disappear. If you didn't hold on to them, they just would... People would take them and so on or and sell as, them. as souvenirs or maybe... So, I don't know. And, and even <clears throat> there was a thing that with uh, Brando had his uh, original Godfather script uh, sold on eBay, and uh, my assistant uh, uh, pointed this out to me. <clears throat> so it never really, you know, it just never had a real place. It just was out forever there. bought and were put, put away somewhere. So I thought, I'll keep this, all this stuff and keep it and then one day we started talking about where it would go because it was becoming very costly just to hold it all and um, so the Harry Ransom Center uh, uh, took took all my uh, yeah. material which I thought was I was very happy that they because they've got great things there and uh, proud to be part of that that's uh, family. so cool I mean this it's, it's it's an amazing thing one of the things I saw that you gave to them is the uh, you actually got a taxi cab driver's license when you did uh, Taxi Driver? You actually were a cabbie for a little bit. Uh, that's amazing. I love the hair there too. Uh, <laughs> did you? Uh, how were you as a cab driver? I was okay. Yeah. I'm a New York driver, you know, so yeah. I got along. Yeah. <laughs> I got around. <laughs> you, you, yeah. You, you're good. Did people recognize you? Well, there was one guy I think did a double take when he looked through the mirror. Um, and wasn't sure whether it was me. Um, that was it. Yeah, that was it. Not bad. Uh, uh, well, I, I saw Meryl Streep uh, talked uh, at this Harry Ransom uh, at the Harry Ransom Center in uh, University of Texas, and she said some very nice things about you. Said that uh, you were the you're the inspiration for her being the type of actor that she wanted to be. Well, she said some wonderful, beautiful things. I was. Uh, I, I mean, I didn't even know, know what to say, but it was really great of her, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's very... Uh, not only uh, are you an inspiration to other actors, but also a lot of people, other actors, do impressions of you. I don't know if you've heard. No. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, even on this show in particular, we have... This is just some faces... No, none of them, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> How would you say that you would do an impression of you? I couldn't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how many times I've done an impression of you in front of you. But you've been very patient. You've been a very good sport. I'm not even going to do it tonight. I promise. Oh, no, God. <laughs> <laughs> I missed about, it. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right, talking, right. About, uh, talking about your new movie. <laughs> I do want to talk about Amsterdam, by the way. Uh, yeah. This cast is um, unbelievable. Christian Bell, Margot Robbie. Uh, you got uh, Rami Malek, Michael Shannon. Uh, it's David O. Russell. 
who you've worked with before. Yeah. Uh, it's a great story. At the beginning of the movie, it says a lot of this really happened. And it's actually based on a story that did happen. Is that why you, 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 you wanted to do this movie? Because it's based no, on... Well, that, the character of Smedley Butler it was based on was uh, really a great character who I wasn't aware of yeah. that David uh, o. Russell told me about when he was describing the whole movie and the story and so on. This went over a couple of almost, like, a couple of months where he would tell me about the story from time to time and possible character I would do. And then he mentioned this character, um, the one that I played, Dylan Beckham, and he said it's based on this guy, Smedley uh, Butler, this general. So he told me to look at the material on him and the speeches he made. It was great. It was really, uh, at that time, especially... Uh, between the First and Second World War, that period when things were ramping up with the, with the, the fascists in Italy, with Mussolini and Hitler and all that. I mean, it was exactly the same thing that uh, then that is now happening. He was a, um, uh, a very, very courageous... How does David person. O. Russell find these stories? That's a, well... <laughs> He's just, no question. I yeah, he's just, yeah, it's amazing. And, yeah. and, and he does a great job uh, intertwining and watching it all together. And uh, there's a young actress in this film, Taylor Swift, uh, I think is going to be big one day. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you check out this movie, yeah. <laughs> you made headlines over the summer, by the way, saying that you have every Taylor Swift album. Right. Is that, <laughs> is that true? No. I mean, I was kidding, but I. But she's wonderful in the movie. Yeah, she really, she really is, is terrific. She is great. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Robert De Niro in Amsterdam. Take a look at this. Oh, the doctor. She's the nurse. He's the attorney. We all met in Belgium, which, if you recall, is where we met for the first time. As well as Washington last summer at the BEF march. Well, I'll tell you one thing that I can remember quite clearly. You did something that you, you sang a song. I believe. Well, wh which one, sir? Well, that's for you to remember. I, I've met thousands of people. You just met me twice, so uh, you should remember the song. I'd like you to sing it now, then I'll know it's you. Sing a song. Did, did you ever see a dream? Dream. Walking. Walking. Oh, I did. Yes. Did you ever was, hear a dream? dream. Talking. Talking. Right. Then, then, then I did. Oh, no, no, that's, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not it. No, 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 not even close. <laughs> Before you go, uh, I actually have the Tonight Show yeah. uh, guest book, and I thought maybe, if you want, maybe take another shot. And they're writing something. Do I really have to? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'll, I'll date it. I'll da well, think of something. You can say something. Just anything you want. I won't read it. Um, okay, let's see. You're lucky you're still here? <laughs> 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 He's running that. He is running that. <laughs> that is exactly what I'm talking about. Robert De Niro, everybody. Amsterdam is in theaters October 7th. We'll be right back with Chloe 5 and stick around. <laughs>